This is the NT510 multi-system scanner from Foxwell. Bought from a supplier from China. It is basically compatible with Global Onboard Diagnostic 1, Onboard Diagnostic 2 and European Onboard Diagnostic. These includes cars like Ford, BMW, Chrysler, GM, Honda and Toyota, to name a few. This product is relatively cheap for its price, under $180. Inside the box you can see there are the brochure and manuals, written in English. And here is the unit together with the cables. The unit looks sturdy and very light. It comes with a rubber casing around it for protection when you accidentally drop it. On the left side, you can see the slot for inserting the memory card, which you can later use for updating your softwares. And the 16-pin connector for your car's onboard diagnostic port. Now, let's test the scanner. The brand and model of this car is Captiva 2010 Diesel, automatic transmission. Before you insert the connector to the OBD port, it's probably safer not to start the car. The unit will power up automatically, once inserted. Because the power source comes from the battery of your car, through the OBD pins. Once it's on, turn the ignition keys. Choose the GM button. You can choose between automatic detection for your car, or manually. I'll manually choose, because the supplier guide me through the correct vehicle model. Because of the different variants for Captiva. Here you can see a, 2010 car models. Vehicle model is passenger car. Then a list of vehicle cars will show. Choose number 2 for Chevrolet. Vehicle Type N, and then Powertrain 2.0 Diesel, a 5-speed automatic. Here you can see the engine and transmission control modules. An example is the Diagnostic Trouble Codes, DTC, for the engine module, which later can be erased once corrected. You can see also the freeze frame, which stores engine operating conditions at the moment an emission-related fault is stored in memory. Other data are also display for different engine-related components. Let's check the transmission module. Just return to the selection for transmission module and choose the speed. Then you will see the transmission DTC and all its different parameters will show. It includes even the transmission shift solenoids and its operations.
Some of these are too technical, but it's a great help for advanced technicians where they can use them to compare these parameters to their manuals. All in all, it can show live vehicle sensors data in text and graph, which allows you to focus on any suspicious or symptom on your car and gives you the real picture of what's going on in the vehicle. It can support diagnostics from support body, chassis, automatic transmission and virtually all control modules. Now let's see how you register this scanner or update it when there is software updates available. Just plug in the cable at bottom of the scanner and plug it to your PC's USB port. In this case I already installed the Foxwell software when I connect the scanner for the first time. Just click the icon and register the device. At the dashboard go to profile and enter the required data and register. You can see at the serial number management tab, the item you register. And the part number you enter, the serial number and expiration. But there is another way you can update your software or buy and add another vehicle. And here you see two ways. Just go to Foxwell website and enter the ID name and password you use. Once on the dashboard, you can see product information as well as your profile. The updates available on your particular scanner and how to contact them if you have problems. But if you want to update, just go to the product tab and browse where you can find your scanner. Click the tab if there are available updates. If you want to buy more softwares for other car models and brand, you can click add to cart. Well that's all for now. Just click the link for more information on this scanner.